there, are, there is artless preaching that nonetheless is used by the Spirit to convict and communicate the promises of God. Um, there's, there is lazy preaching. There is preaching that where people pull whole sermons off the Internet and just read them as their own. I mean, the, the, the goal of preaching, as I said at the beginning, is that the, every hearer would know that the promises of God are for them. And that is, a, that is a moment of faith, which the Holy Spirit empowers somehow and makes happen. So, you know, to, so even if there's bad preaching, that's not, there's not necessarily a correlation between good and bad preaching and the Holy Spirit getting its job done. But this, this is an illustration I just used this week in class on Tuesday um, because this very question came up. In, in preaching class, and I said, well, if you, if you don't connect any of the dots in your sermon, God is capable of connecting all the dots for the hearer, and they can, they'll, be seeing, they'll, they'll be able to see how the promises of God are for them. But if you as a preacher can use all of your intellect, your heart, your skills, your gut, your love for the people to connect 1 through 40 and 50 through 90, you give God a better shot at getting 40 to 50 connected so that they see that. So the preacher has a role. Uh, so bad preaching connects fewer dots. That doesn't mean God can't make the whole picture. Uh, but good preaching connects more of the dots, and maybe that makes it easier for the hearer to discern God's, God's uh, work in and around. So, again, there's a lot of ways to be bad, and we're, <laughs> I suppose you'd have to say every sermon is bad at some level for some reason or could always be better but um, I, what I don't want is for people myself included to think that just because the Holy Spirit is prepared to do that work that we, we shouldn't 